Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's time to paint. Uh, <laughs> here we are back around. Weeks go by in the blink of an eye. <clears throat> but I do look forward to my Wednesday mornings with you guys. Hi, Michael. Hi, Irma. Hi, Jody. <clears throat> Morning, Carol Ann. Hi, Elizabeth. So, how is everyone? Um, so, I am, you know, so smitten with painting peonies right now, but I'm going to do something different. Michael had suggested I paint a landscape, which is something that is pretty much out of my comfort zone and something I really, really want to learn more about. Hi, Sheila. So I'm going to try it. Hi, Helen. So nothing like taking a risk, right? And we'll see how this goes. Um, so let me turn this around. I did find a reference image that I liked. Oh, oh there we go. Oops. Nope. Back on me. We don't want that. Okay. And my goal is to paint big puffy pink clouds. Um, there was a lady at Rittenhouse, a couple booths down from me, and shoot, I wanted to grab, let me see if I have her card here. She had the most stunning landscapes ever. I love them, and you know I cannot find her business card. Um, so, I'll tell you later, because I don't know what I did with it. I had it with me, now I lost it. But um, with pink clouds, pink, hers were kind of peachy, but I think I'm going to do pink. Well, we'll see. <clears throat> okay. Good morning, Ellen. Yeah, so I've been painting big. I, I had, um, hi, Sarah. I don't want to mess that up. Can you guys still hear me? Hi, Lori. So I think I'm going to, whoops. Now, why did it get so big? There we go. Goodness. Um, I think I'm going to do like the base layer like I normally do and then try and get, get the vibrancy and I don't know. I'm just going to play on all honesty and hopefully I'll be able to talk at the same time. I might have to think a little bit more than normal because it is a little bit out of my comfort zone. But um, yeah, so I've been painting big because I sold so many large paintings at at my last art show that I really need more. So I've been having so much fun doing that. I can't even begin to tell you. It's like what I always wish for. I'm putting in the horizon line. I'm gonna just be loose and crazy with this like I've been loving in general. Because I wanna let some of this show through. Oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. You can hear. Oh, good. Thanks, Ellen. Hi, Irma. This will be fun. I hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so, Carolyn. It's always good to jump out of your comfort zone. This And this could take me long, or who knows? Who knows what will happen? It doesn't really matter, does it? It's just a happy Wednesday. Yeah, so I've been painting a lot, and and I I love it. I absolutely love needing to paint a lot. I did two big 36 by 36 peonies that I am so smitten with. <clears throat> Hi, Susie from Ohio. I want to keep it bright and a little spontaneous. And I'm painting on paper. I just kind of felt like I wanted that kind of texture for the landscape. I think I will do pigment sticks. All right, that looks appropriately crazy, doesn't it? Oops, I'm at all. Mm. 
Well, that's already fun, isn't it? Um, oh, Irma, that is... Uh, oh, wait, wait, let me clean my palette off here. And then I'll pick it up and show you. Because I can't think of what it's called. It's this. Oh, this is oil paint. It's transparent yellow green by Rembrandt. Really pretty color. That's what that bright yellow green is down there. So that's a fun start. I guess I'll do pigment sticks now. That went quick. <laughs> the pink shock. Yes, I'm trying to be crazy with it. So yes, you never know what will happen. I've been really pushing those boundaries a lot as I've been painting lately. And I think I'm going to put those trees in at the end. I think I'm going to keep my I think that's what I need to do. I think I need to do the trees at the end. <laughs> oh, to do that, yeah. Yeah, well, it could be a bad idea or a good idea, but I want big puffy pink clouds, so. Uh, the colors are fun, aren't they? Who knows, it might not even need the trees. All right, that's certainly a fun beginning for the day, isn't it? 807. So I want to mix up some greens, blues, pinks, and real pale colors. So I want to think about um, the underside of the clouds being more desaturated pink and then this being really pale pink um more uh the sky needs to go kind of from a more of a purple up to more of a blue and i need some bright greens and soft greens question i paint acrylics could i put oil sticks in, in the end how long do they take to dry they do take a little while to dry irma i don't see any reason why you couldn't put them you just can't put acrylic over oil but you could put oil over acrylic so sure and just do one and see see how long it takes to dry. I think I've found that it depends like how moist the air is where you are. Like there's a lot of factors that go into drying. And since I've been needing to get some paintings ready um, for more art shows, I've been using Liquin, which I don't like quite as much as what I normally use, the Zesta. Now I'm going to pull this over because it's too far away. But it is aiding in drying more quickly. I got out a fan brush too. I might play with that. Not sure. And I'm just going to put, I just saw this Vasari Ruby Violet Light. I was going to put some of that out here too. I got all kinds of crazy colors going on around here. So much for a limited palette. Oh, best brand to buy. Oh, I forgot what my question was already. Best brand. Oh, of, oh, of the... Oh, these definitely. The um, RNF pigment sticks are my favorite oil sticks. You can also use the Sennelier ones, but I think they're a little they're a little harder. They're not as creamy or as dreamy. Okay, I think I'm all caught up. All right, so I want to go with my sky colors. A little bit of like a violet. I want to still keep it bright, but not the whole thing because then it gets a little overwhelming. That might be a good. I think I need. I'm going to do manganese blue hue, I think, as my main blue in the sky. So I'm going to have to think a little bit about keeping it um, kind of spontaneous and colorful, but not to the point that it's like too crazy. more of that for the sky. I 
definitely lighter. a transition color. Let's see how that goes. I'm, they might be a little too vibrant, um, but I'm not sure. So we'll just start with that. I can always modify them later. So I want pink clouds. I'm gonna, whoops, that's not the color I wanted. <clears throat> I went from, I usually go from dark to light and I went backwards here. Um, I think I'll just get that vibrant pink. Now you can think about your colors on your palette before you put them on your painting to see if you like them together. <laughs> yes, they're very expensive, but they last a really, really long time. really long time but they are expensive all the good art supplies are actually need more white so I want that to be really pale oh yeah Caroline said yes they last a really long time <clears throat> I'm gonna add a little bit of gray into this Blue. I feel like it's a little bright. Hmm. We'll see how that does. I love the paint sticks. Try a couple and build your supply. Yep, that's right. Yep, if you just get like three, that's probably plenty to start. I really only use like five different colors. I have a lot, but they're like my ones that I use the most. Need a little yellow in here, more white. nice okay so I think I should also for the underbelly of the clouds desaturate this I'm going to put some gray into that I just have gray here from mixing up colors from before from other days use that and then mm -hmm. nice desaturated color. I could do that with this too. I'm thinking about the underside of the clouds now. Keep not quite having it mixed well. There, I think that's pretty good. Um, and then I need some greens. So. That's awfully bright. It's a nice dark, dark kind of a nice olivey kind of green. And I want to lighten that a little bit. Lighten and brighten it now. I'm going to put some lemon yellow in there and see how it looks. I 
I think that's enough of a palette to start. Um, I might need a little bit of darker green. That's good. So I've got my greens, my blues, my pinks for my pink clouds. Um, I think I do need a little bit more of a light desaturated green. So I'll take this and maybe put some of the pink of my cloud in there. It's pink and green desaturate. Yep, that's nice. All right, hopefully I have enough colors mixed up. So let's put this up here. That's crazy beginning, isn't it? Can you see okay? Let me turn that ever so slightly. That. Okay, is that good? So what's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? I thought I was out of coffee, but my pot didn't like make the whole pot of coffee, so I got a little bit out at the end. And there's my big brush. I'll go with some of the sky. Um, I want to see my brush strokes. Ellen's having tea. Maybe I'll need some tea today. Try and get my walk in before it gets real hot. Um, that's kind of... Sheila's having coffee. Much needed too. Yes, me too. Nice cup of coffee. Is there anything but? And I'm reminding you, I have no idea what I'm doing right now because I don't paint landscapes very often, but it is definitely something I want to learn or practice or play with. So that's a great suggestion. I've done a few, but I did them more with transparent layers. Like, oh, I'll show you one. Where's one that I can grab like this, where I painted the transparent layers to give it kind of that dreamy effect. But I don't want that style for this. I want this to, um, Uh, have brush strokes and not be so um, modeled. I want it to be, I don't know what the word is, less intentional. That's not really what I want, but lack of a better term. Just getting a little bit more of a little light blue. Went through that pretty quickly. How did you do the, oh, by literally putting transparent colors in there very um, intentionally and slowly and over time. So it takes a lot of time to paint that way. It takes more patience than I have. All right, so I want to think about depth, too, here a little bit. Um, I'll put the trees in later. I like these brush strokes up in here. I think they're pretty fun. <clears throat> put in some of my, my horizon area here. And I don't want that to be a hard line, so I'm just going over both like that to blend them a little bit. Like my large peonies? Oh, can you post a video of you painting your large paintings in super speed maybe? Yes, I could do that. I did think about that the other night because 
I just have to figure out how to set that up to make to make it if that makes any sense like I have to think of camera angle and how to make that I should that's something I want to do in my inspiring art group too is to do a, a large painting um Yeah, so I'm getting ready for, I'm going to have an art show um, in Lewis, Delaware in like two, I think two weeks, three weeks, Th July 2nd. So I've been getting ready for that. And then I have another one at a place called Winterthur, which is in Delaware. Um, it's a beautiful like museum grounds. And actually you have to buy tickets to go to that show. And so that's like a whole thing that I never even did before is to think about doing that. I don't know. This is a messy middle for sure. I'm just looking where the underneath of the clouds are and I want to let some of this spontaneous stuff in that stay in there Gail says really looking forward to learning with you about painting large with the whales inspiring art can't wait yes I need to get that moving so we're doing greens this week I have been learning all about greens Oh, Anita, I know it looks, I was there years ago with friends and I'm excited to um, do an art show there because it does look stunning. All right, maybe I could go in with some of my lighter um, pinks. <clears throat> I like these blues. I think there's a little something going on there. Really pretty. And yeah, I don't want to blend too much. I did get my blending brush out, but I don't think I need it. crazy looking cloud isn't it crazy fun it's picking up um the colors underneath and I don't want to judge that I just want to let it happen it's hard though because it's like I'm not sure that it's is working or not that's all right right You'll forgive me if it doesn't turn out. And this is truly how you learn. You just have to play with things, take risks. Don't worry about if it doesn't turn out. Because that is how you learn. All right, do I go a little lighter already? I think I will. is a great cloud. Um, maybe it's too disjointed. Maybe I need to smooth in a little bit more. Maybe a little too choppy to read as a cloud. What do you think? I need to blend ever so slightly. And then look for my lightest 
desk lights. <clears throat> Right now I'm looking for my lights. This is very light up in there. Is that reading under enough maybe? I like those little pops of blue in there. This is nice. Whoops, I think I need a little more. Like that. All right, maybe I'll try the lightest lights now. I don't know if I need a smaller brush or not. I guess I should really shouldn't use a smaller brush. So where's everybody um, listening from? Watching, I guess. You're watching, not listening. Or doing both, right? Ontario. Squint your eyes to see. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm hmm Warrington, Virginia. Austria. I love your paintings. Thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, the squinting was a good idea. And this is very light in here. Blazing hot South Carolina. Oh my gosh, Susan, how hot is it? It's been hot here too. Rainy cold Alberta. Ireland, Wizard Lake Alberta. Australia. Yeah, what time is it in Australia? Did you write that? I don't know. I think that this, the clouds getting there. I think I need this to be a little, it's a little disjointed there. Maybe a little light down in this. What do you think? It's crazy looking. Outer Banks, North Carolina, 828 in Eastern. Super hot in Texas, St. Louis, 103. Oh my goodness. Temps have hit 100 the last two days. That's crazy, 100 degrees. Crazy, crazy. I think I need a little bit more yellow in my highlight area. A little lighter lights and then I'm gonna play with trees which I've never painted but I think it does need a little something Connecticut been nice around 80 yeah 80 is such a nice nice <laughs> Nice degree, but yeah, we don't seem to get 80 degree weather as much anymore as we used to when I was a kid. I think that's good. I think I'm just fussing with it. I was thinking yellow too. Yeah, trees will make it pull it together. That's what I think too. So now I need to do my dark areas of my trees.
I got to keep these kind of just as loose as, as my clouds or it will look disjointed. I don't think I'm going to put those in. I think I'll put this one in. Oh, Mary Lean went to Montana and is missing the scorch in Charleston. Well, I guess Mary Lean's pretty smart doing that, right? Montana. That's somewhere I've never been. A lighter green. I want to keep it just as spontaneous at this in the trees as the. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Might need to go a little lighter. Oh, baby granddaughter. Oh, my goodness. That's fun. That's wonderful. I need a little of that um, yellowish. Gosh, my, um, this yellow color that my genuine Naples yellow light is just a little dry. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's extremely dry. It's totally dry. A little bit more of that desaturated color, light color in here. All right, what else do I need to do? It's pretty fun. Are the clouds pink enough? I love the choppiness of it. I might be finished. I'm just looking around for any areas that need definition or <clears throat> so pretty I think I'm the middle I think I'm the middle of the clouds I step back looks like lips but love it <laughs> that's so fun like a kiss I love when things look like things like that that's so fun I have enough value difference. You could paint another in the time left. Ellen, you want me to paint another one? What else could we do? Gosh, I do have one. I will sign it and pull the thing off. Do you want me to paint something else? I could start another painting if you guys still want to hang out, if you want to be finished. I can move on. There, I signed it. I'm going to pull the tape off. I wanted to uh, paint a bird, so I could start that. I don't think I'll finish it in time, but... Um, or I can do another landscape. What do you want me to do? Oh, my goodness. What do you think? So there, I look, whoops, I'm running into the thing. All that choppy, delicious, like, chunky colors are so fun. And look how different that is than this style. I mean, I like them both. I just have to figure out. This is, like, kind of ethereal is that the right word and this is chunky and and fun i think i like chunky and fun but i'd like to learn both i'm gonna do 
flowers like that too. Nita says, looks great, so bright. You did good, even though it's out of your comfort zone. Fearless, yes. Oh, um, I would frame it with this little bit of an edge showing, like uh, probably an eight, this, between a 16, maybe three, three sixteenths of an inch edge with a, a matte under glass with the frame. Another one of these, Sarah? I could, I have all the colors mixed. You know what, let me get another piece of paper. Why not? What else am I gonna do? Hold on a sec. And I have one all ready to do. All right, so I have my paper. Oh, let me see, can I open this down? I'm gonna tape it off. I'll show you what I'm doing. I won't probably won't get it all finished, but <clears throat> oh, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna I put my little tape edges on one. Okay, another landscape. It is. Have all the colors mixed and they all turn out different like even that if I paint the same thing it'll look different the second time it's always good to do that because you learn so much by painting the same things over and over again yes I already gesso there's like two or three coats of gesso on this paper I just have it in a drawer ready for whenever I need it and I don't grid off my paper either so Oh, you want me to try a more ethereal one? Is that what you're saying, Irma? I think that takes long, though. I don't think I can do that in a half an hour. The ethereal. I have to do it in layers. All right. Should I do a different one? Let me see. I'll do a different landscape. Let me see what's in here. Um... It's a little moody. Do you need me? Yes. Look how many peonies I have in here. It's crazy, right? That looks low res. Sometimes half the time I spend doing something, it's looking for the right photo. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I'll just, I'll play with that as my image. Oh, the same done again. Oh, is that what you're thinking? A different, okay, I'm just going to do this. Because if I keep thinking about it, it's going to take too long. I'm going to use the same colors. And just kind of paint this crazy moody one. We'll see what happens. It might not quite work, but that's okay. Yeah, the field's pretty, isn't it? It's like a fall sky. We've got some nice soft yellows and stuff there. Um, it's not square. I better make it square. Um, whoop, sorry. Should I do it like that? see how this looks okay let me get my pigments my uh yeah the lines leading in there are neat aren't they can get this done. And what do I have? 20 minutes. So I think Instagram kicks me off at, at an hour, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. 
bright. That's bright. Oh, to clean my brush. Megan, I clean my brush with um, Chelsea brush cleaner. Right now, I'm just cleaning it off with a paper towel. So this is different because it's so dark in the center. dark green oh do you sign back in again after being kicked off I guess I could how exciting <laughs> to have me start a new painting yeah that certainly changes things doesn't it now I want it to look like this is going back I have to make that darker in here Right, well, that's that's a fun start. And I'll do pigment sticks. Yeah, I guess I could sign back in. I think I have to post it, though. Like, that's a piece of it. So I when I do this, then I have to post it and then download it to save it um, to put it on my YouTube channel. It's a whole process. It actually takes me a little while to do all of it. Just kidding. It's really <laughs> jumpy. <laughs> Ellen. Oh, Ellen, it's all your fault here. Now I'm doing a whole nother painting. I'm kidding. You know, there's not much more I'd rather be doing than painting. Um, I don't know if I want any of that gold. I'm going to add my crazy colors in just because it's part of the fun. I'm just using my reference loosely. Like I'm not really trying to totally... A dramatic sky. Um, a Mark Rothko. <laughs> well, that's fun. What does he paint? Like all the like the um, layers of color, right? Now let some of those little bits show. Um, I need this too. Doesn't I don't know that I can really pull off pink clouds, but I could try it. I think that's a fun start, right? I'm going to try just to use colors I have here. If I need a little bit more, I'll just mix them on the side. 844. I think I'm doing good with time, too. Um, that blue in the sky. This needs to go more. It's so heavy. It's totally not the kind of skies we're seeing right now, is it? It's not a summer sky. But we can make it be whatever we want. <clears throat> I'm going to run out of paper towels. Herman's love in the color combo. Good. I want to try and still keep that looseness.
lighter blue up there. Oh, I don't have enough of that light blue. I have to mix a little bit of this light uh, manganese blue hue and white. Or maybe I'll do a little bit of the um, video blue extra pale. I'm just mixing up um, Video Blue Extra Pale and Manganese Blue Hue. I didn't want to pull the camera down. I think I just painted from summer to um, fall here, didn't I? I've never been to Montana, but I would say that the sky looks like it could be a Montana sky. I think should I put some pink in there? Is that reckless crazy? I don't really have any light colors mixed. So dark and dramatic. <clears throat> um, why not, right? Okay. <clears throat> so we've got nothing to lose. Now I want to think about whether I'm ke keeping the depth that I want to. Does it look like it's dimensional? Like, like that's going back and this is coming forward. My Minnesota sky right now, we're going to have some rain. Oh my gosh, is it really? Yeah, the sky really never looks like this here. Is the pink too crazy? What do you think? When they say red skies at night, a sailor's delight, red skies in the morning, a sailor's warning. That means it's going to rain. If you see red skies in the morning, it's going to rain, right? Unless the sailor wanted rain. I guess maybe they never want rain. I don't know. I don't know. Is this too crazy? <clears throat> Um, right, I like that. Now I think I need the clouds to be a little puffier and then I can do the foreground a little. Um, I'm not sure that I'm loving the pink. So I think I might put out some more white and put some blue in it. Good morning, Donna. All right, now some white. I think the white might be a little crazy, but let's try it. Keep those same loose clouds. Orange over the pink. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't, could mix up some orange. Crazy. 
crazy clouds, isn't it? Yeah, orange might be fun. Let me, let me mix just the teeniest bit more orange. Oh, I need that down here. That's where that compliment's going to happen. I think I need that in here. pretty dramatic. Um, what else do I need here? I know, Irma, it sure is dramatic. I think I need... Oh, I don't know what I need, guys. I don't know. I'm not talking a lot. I'm thinking a lot today. Sorry. I think it's getting close. <clears throat> I love this bright, there was bright colors glowing in there. Um, a little it's getting a little too light there it's like leading leading lines they lead your eye up toward this section um i think i do need a little this is a little too dark in here so let me see if i do that if it if it softens it a little bit. Something about that, it's too, it was too wide of a band of darkness. Like I want to let some of that fun stuff show, but not 100%. Hi, Kira, how are you? 5.50 a.m. in California. Well, God bless you for getting up early to watch me paint. And that's so fun. Although I would get up at 5.50 to paint. I don't know. What do you think? Am I finished? Does it need something else? Does it mean need more of those kind of lightest lights? Some chunky pieces. I think that helped a little bit. Whoops. I don't know where I got that gray. I think I picked that up from down below. Do you love it? Is it good? I I don't know what I think of it. It's maybe not my color palette. It's a little reckless crazy. All right, now I'm fussing with it too much. So, um, I'm thinking I might just need a little bit of the blue of the sky down in here just to kind of keep it a little more cohesive. I like to add a little bit of color from all the different areas in a little bit just to keep it. That helped a little bit. All right, let me sign it and we'll pull the tape off and see how it looks. I think this tree needs, it's a little, all right, I'm just fussing, I need to stop, yeah, it does, it looks like a Midwest sky, no, should be that too, 
Nothing like working under pressure, right? Okay, so there's that one. And it's like a summer sky and an autumn sky. Here, I'll take it out. All right, so there's the summer one and the autumn one. So, well, and that was fun. Thanks for the challenge, Ellen. So I will save these and I will put them, um, put the video up on my YouTube channel if you want to watch it again or share it with anybody that you think might enjoy it. Um, and the paper is, or just oil paper. I love using that for oil paintings. You did a, the, the second one in one. Oh, good. Well, share that on social. I'd love to see it. So thanks for coming, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. And I think I'll be back here next Wednesday. I can't remember. Isabel and I might have a dentist appointment. I have to double check that. <clears throat> but thanks for coming. I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you soon. Bye.